Hi, I'm Dr. Shaikat. Today I'll discuss about Marmar. So first of all, what is Marmar? Marmar is an abnormal sound due to turbulent blood flow through an abnormal valve, septal defect, outflow obstruction, or due to increased volume or velocity of the blood flow through a normal valve. So I'm making it clear. This is a schematic diagram of the heart. There is mitral valve, tricuspid valve, aortic valve, pulmonary valve. So Marmar means either there will be pathology in the valve there is abnormal valve or maybe abnormal velocity or abnormal volume of the blood if abnormal blood passes through this normal valve then there is a turbulence that is called murmur in the same way if normal blood passes through this normal amount of blood passes through this abnormal valve then there is turbulence that is also murmur so now what are the types of murmur Basically, there are two types of murmur, systolic murmur and diastolic murmur. This systolic murmur again can be classified into ejection systolic murmur and pan systolic murmur. And this diastolic murmur again classified into early diastolic murmur, mid diastolic murmur. Now, I am explaining all these murmurs. So there are four basic types of murmurs, ejection systolic murmur, pan systolic murmur, early diastolic murmur, mid diastolic murmur. Now what is ejection systolic murmur? Ejection systolic murmur means turbulence in the middle of the systole and in those valves through which ejection occurs. In the middle of the systole there is murmur. This is ejection systolic murmur. Now, we know that systole means the contraction of the heart. So ventricles are ejecting blood during systole. So these two ventricles will eject blood during systole. And when there is ejection of the blood from the ventricle, aortic valve and pulmonary valves will be opened and all other valves will be closed. There is mitral valve and tricuspid valve will be closed. So my concern is aortic valve and pulmonary valve. Now. During the systole, blood is ejecting through the pulmonary valve and aortic valve. Now, while ejecting in the middle of that ejection, if it gets any obstruction, there will be production of turbulence and that turbulence is murmur. So, aortic stenosis and pulmonary stenosis will produce ejection systolic murmur and also ASD. ASD. Because in pulmonary stenosis and aortic stenosis pathology is in the valve but in ASD valve is normal but pathology is there is extra amount of blood in this ventricle so that when this extra amount of blood is passing through this normal valve then there is turbulence because the definition of murmur says normal blood flow through abnormal valve or abnormal blood flow through normal valve so in ASD there is abnormal blood flow through this normal pulmonary valve and that's why there is turbulence and that turbulence is called ejection systolic murmur. So in aortic stenosis, pulmonary stenosis and ASD there is ejection systolic murmur. Now pan systolic murmur. Now the word says what is pan systolic murmur. Pan systolic murmur may pan means whole. So pan systolic murmur means murmur in whole systole. So pan systolic murmur means turbulence in whole systole due to the leakage from normally closed valve during systole. So during systole aortic valve is opened, pulmonary valve is opened, mitral valves are supposed to be closed, tricuspid valves are supposed to be closed. So now I told that turbulence in whole of the systole due to the leakage from normally closed valve during systole. So aortic valve and pulmonary valve I will not consider. Now these two valves are supposed to be closed during systole but if there is leakage during systole if there is leakage then we will get murmur in whole of the systole that is called pan systolic murmur that's why in mitral regurgitation and tricuspid regurgitation i will get pan systolic murmur in whole of the systole i will get this murmur this is pan systolic murmur and also in vsd in vsd also because i told that 
During systole, aortic valve and pulmonary valve should be opened. All other things should be closed. So, mitral valve, tricuspid valve was supposed to be closed. Ventricular septum was supposed to be intact. But now in VSD, there is a defect in the ventricular septum. So, through this defect, there is turbulence. Due to that turbulence, there is abnormal sound. That is murmur in the whole of the systole. That is called pansystolic murmur. So, in mitral regurgitation, Tricuspid regurgitation and VSD. MR, TR, VSD, there is pan-systolic murmur. Now, in early diastolic murmur. Early diastolic murmur means murmur in early diastole due to the leakage from normally closed valves during diastole. So, we know that what is diastole? Diastole means relaxation of the heart. Simply, in diastole, the ventricles are filled. So, in the diastole, mitral valve and tricuspid valves are open through which ventricles are getting filled and aortic valve and pulmonary valve were supposed to be closed but now they are leaking. So, that due to that leaking, there is turbulence in early diastole. That is called early diastolic murmur. So, this is aortic valve and this is pulmonary valve. If there is regurgitation. Aortic regurgitation and pulmonary regurgitation, I will get early diastolic murmur. After S2 and before S1, I will get that murmur. So, this is called early diastolic murmur like this. The intensity of the murmur is more in early diastole. Now, mid diastolic murmur. Again, mid diastolic murmur is turbulence in mid diastole through tenosed valves. This is mitral valve, this is tricuspid valve. Through this mitral valve and tricuspid valve, ventricles are filled. Now, due to any reason, in the middle of the filling, if it gets any obstruction, then there is a production of turbulence and that is called murmur. So, mitral stenosis and tricuspid stenosis, there is mid-diastolic murmur. So, the intensity is more in the diastole. So, this is the gross idea of murmur. Again, I am telling, ejection systolic murmur, I will get in AS, PS and ASD. Pan-systolic murmur I will get in MR, TR, VSD. Early diastolic murmur I will get in AR, PR. And mid-diastolic murmur I will get in MS and TS. Mitral stenosis and tricuspid stenosis. So, these are the basic four types of murmur. Now, there is one more murmur that is called continuous murmur. What is that? Continuous murmur. Continuous murmur means so either systole or diastole. Whatever the phase is, there is always murmur. That is a PDA, patent ductus arteriosus. Patent ductus arteriosus means if there is any communication between the pulmonary artery and aorta, then in the whole systole, diastole, every hand there will be murmur. That is called continuous murmur. In that time, there will be murmur in whole systole and diastole. So, these are some gross ideas of murmurs. Hope you like this video. Give your feedback in the comments below and subscribe this channel for next videos. Thank you. Thank you.